Pigstock is a celebration of all things pig. The animal itself is such a beautiful, uh, beautiful thing, and when you can utilize its snout to tail, as it has been historically, we can have an opportunity to bring people closer to what it's all about and really honor the animal at the same time. But one of the things that we do that I think makes us unique is that we also have a dinner that celebrates the pig. You know, it was at a time when I was looking for the next kind of challenge uh, for myself personally as a chef, and uh, this kind of fell on my lap. We start out at Black Star Farms, which is, uh, as an event venue is unparalleled. There's Christoph Wiesner and his wife Isabel, who uh, are from Austria. Choosing the Mongolitsa really was uh, was a simple decision, especially with people like Christoph and Isabel. They have a Mongolitsa farm in Austria, and they travel around the world giving these demonstrations on how to utilize these animals. Looking at the quality of the meat and the and the fat and the beauty and the muscle of these animals, how these breeds are raised, what they're fed, and how they can be utilized. Also, Chef Brian Polson, you know, he has two two charcuterie books books with uh, Michael Roman. He has been doing charcuterie for 15, 20 years. It's been an important part of his kitchen. I mean, if you haven't had Brian Polson tell you you're doing something wrong, um, you really haven't had one of those life-changing experiences. I've kind of made my own version of the two of them um, and uh, changed my cuisine forever. Well, you know, we've had so many chefs come up and, and tell us that it made a dramatic change in their thought process with regard to what they wanted to do in their kitchen. My entire menu is different. Right here is the, the tenderloin. So every animal has two of these. I get about two to three orders out of this. I would roll through probably 75 of these a night. That's a lot of animals, just for this one cut. Now what I do is um, I take this whole animal and I do what I call a chef's cut, and I take all the different cuts and utilize the whole animal in one night. One of the things I'm really excited about is this year we've got Dr. Michelle Pfeffensteel coming here to talk about HACCP. Hazard and critical control points are crucial in looking at developing a charcuterie program, sausages, and dry cure in general. And understanding and having that basic knowledge in your toolbox is invaluable. I, you know, when I went to culinary school, there was none of this kind of focus. Um, and I think that's changed. I think now, you know, at, at NMC, it's part of the curriculum. Chef Bob over there attended the class, has helped on the class for the last five years, and he has a class now based around this animal that students have. I didn't have that, and um, so that's just, it, it's a changing culinary world, and it's, uh, it's exciting and cool, you know? We try and make this a community event. We, we involve Black Star, we involve the culinary school, we go out to various restaurants. The entire time that you spend with these people creates a bond that I guarantee you'll treasure for a long time.